picked up a couple of the new Craig uh, Auto Max bench uh, clamps uh, with the three inch reach. And I wanted to do a quick video on them to show you uh, how I'm going to use these with the Festo MFT tables. Uh, but before I get into that, uh, let me show you what I used to do. I have, uh, in the past, uh, what I've done is I've take, taken a piece of 516 threaded rod. And I would take an oversized uh, washer, half inch washer, and then a 516 uh, star knob. Basically, I would just take that uh, threaded rod and put it into the MFT table and come from underneath, tighten it up. Uh, but uh, with the old style of the Craig bench clamp, uh, you got the adjustment here in the back. And that gets old after a while uh, if you're switching from, like, say, half inch to three quarter uh, material. So then what I found was these uh, Betsy uh, auto toggle clamps. Again, I did the same thing. Is I would use a 5 16 uh, rod going through this piece of uh, half-inch poplar, and I would just attach it to the M uh, MFT table. And it would auto uh, clamp to whatever surface I was working with. So uh, here's a piece of 2x4. It's 38 millimeters thick, so that Betsy clamp would automatically adjust to that material, and then I could easily switch to a piece of three-quarter inch plywood, and it would clamp that three-quarter inch plywood down. The only drawback on that was if I was using, say, half-inch plywood, it wouldn't tighten down all the way. So then I would have to adjust this Betsy clamp. Obviously, with the old style of the Craig bench clamp, um, I would have to twist this around just so I can get it to clamp it. And if I wanted to, say, move to a piece of three-quarter inch plywood, well, I would have to readjust. And that gets old after a while. So I'm hoping that with this new Craig uh, auto adjust clamp, uh, it's going to eliminate any kind of adjustment that I have to do. Uh, plus, just by looking at the new clamp itself, uh, the footprint is a lot smaller than the old Craig bench clamp. So let me open this up and uh, get it set up the way that I want it. Here is the older version of the bench clamp. And down on the bottom, there's a uh, threaded slot for a 5 16th uh, nut. But I have a piece of 5 16 threaded rod that I'm going to put into the new uh, Automax uh, clamp. Then I'm just going to drop it in there, washer, and then the uh, star knob underneath to lock the clamp onto the MFT table. So now is the uh, the ultimate test, I guess. What I have here is uh, some eighth inch or uh, three millimeter hardy board, and so I just have to do a little fine tuning. Again, I just took this out of the package, and then that clamps that fairly. I mean, it's pretty tight. Obviously, it's not going to work with the Betsy clamp or the old style. Uh, so that's, you know, uh, eighth inch hardy board. Here's a uh, quarter inch plywood. That's tight. I'll go to half inch plywood. And that's nice and tight. Some three quarter inch plywood. And that's tight. And now some 2x4. And that's nice and tight. So, right off the bat, this, I mean, this is perfect. Uh, I don't have to use this adjustment anymore for this, and I don't have to adjust the, uh, the Betsy clamp. And it just automatically adjusts to the thickness of whatever material you're using. So even if I was going to add, say, the 3 quarter inch pl uh, plywood to the 2x4, 
Well, it just automatically uh, adjusted itself there. I don't know how high I can go. So now that's 2 by 4 3 quarters plywood and half inch plywood. And I think I'm at my peak here. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to try that. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, check it out. It's, uh, that's pretty sweet. So that's the uh, new uh, Craig uh, Automax 3-inch uh, bench clamp. Uh, and I'm going to be using that uh, with my Festal MFT table uh, from here on out. One more thing, uh, like I said, it comes with that little uh, screw if you're going to use this uh, with the uh, Craig uh, bench clamp insert. Uh, if you're going to use, you know, one of these. Uh, but here with the uh, old Festal MFT 1080 uh, uh, work table, I could put that little nut in there and slide it into the T-Track. And all you do is you just take the uh, Allen, uh, Allen key and you get it to where it's a nice fit to where it will slide in and out. So now I could take that new uh, Craig bench clamp and slide it and put it anywhere I want around the outside of the MFT tape. So what that can help me do is say I wanted to take this piece of three quarter inch uh, plywood. I could then clamp it to the side of my table. Then if I wanted to take this 2x4, I could clamp it there and I could come in here and screw it together. So that's just another uh, possibility that I have with the new Craig Automax. And for those of you that have the Festal MFT3, you know that the profiles, the aluminum profiles, they're different than the older version. But they still have that slotted T-slot down on the bottom of it. At the top of it is that V-groove. But you could still use that nut provided with the clamp. Slide it in. And then you can still have that clamping capability on the side of your MFT table. And since I have it available, I got a piece of an inch and a half dowel. I'll go ahead and I'll just show you how you can use the Automax to clamp that down as well. So overall, I think this is going to be a great accessory to my MFT tables and it's going to help me with some of my clamping needs. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you get a chance, uh, go check these out.